okay so let's move on to the single phase AZ motor wiring part in an, in an AC motor there is usually three wires coming out one is the main winding the other one is the secondary winding and the third one is the neutral so it's easy to identify the neutral wire as it's usually blue or black in color so this is how the circuit is connected how the main winding and the secondary winding and in this case it's important to note that there is a starter capacitor here so what it does is when you supply the main supply when power is supplied from the main supply the capacitor gives the motor a jump start so that it, it has enough energy to start the motor so how do you wire it in order to make the motor go in one direction so in let's say if you want to close the gate we can give power from the main supply to the main winding and the neutral is connected to the neutral of the motor and in order to open the gate or make the motor go in the opposite direction you just have to give power to the secondary winding so let's see this process in actually in action so this is my uh, mains power supply transmitted to the motor here and as you can see here this is the starter capacitor of the motor this is the motor itself and this is the black wire which is a neutral coming out from the motor and the main winding is this wire and this is the secondary winding so right now power is given to the main winding so this is what happens when the power is given moving on to the motor control part of the system what we do here is uh, we have we implement a switch specifically known as a relay so this is what's called a single relay module some important figures to point out here is that this value right here shows the voltage level that the coil inside this relay is activated at. so this one is 5 volts DC which means that it's perfectly capable to run off an Arduino and these are the main main ports of the relay which is known as the common port the normally closed port and the normally open port right here so what happens here is that when when power is given to the normally uh, sorry the, the common port here it's rerouted through the normally closed point and the normally open point so when the relay is currently offline power can be directly transmitted through the common and through the normally closed point here because normally closed point is always closed when the relay is offline when the relay is online power is rerouted through the common and the normally open point here so let's get into the wiring here oh before that we had to show that this board here needs to run needs to power itself so the arduino should provide a 5 volts vcc here right at this point and a ground here and this is the input signal from the arduino which is going to turn this relay on and off okay the relay is all wired up and as you can see here this is the input signal which is coming from the Arduino but for this per for the for this testing purpose I'm using a button to emulate the Arduino so what happens here is that this particular relay module works is or is activated if this pin goes zero so when you give a signal from the Arduino by saying digital right pin uh, let's say 13 low this relay should activate and it should re redirect power from the normally closed pin to the normally open pin so now it's already 
directing power through the command and across the normally close point to this LED here. So now in this case we are actually closing the gate. So when we give a signal from the Arduino, the relay should activate and it should re redirect power. So now the gate is opening. And as soon as I release this button, it, it goes back to its original state. Okay, this system seems simple enough, right? We use a basic switch to switch the power between the main winding and the secondary winding in order to open and close the gate. But immediately we can see a problem here because let's say now that the gate is opening since power is provided to the secondary winding and the user decides to close the gate halfway between. So what happens here is that the Arduino sends a signal to the relay to sorry it disconnects the signal to the relay so that it switches from the normally open point to the normally closed point since energy is suddenly disrupted to the secondary winding there is a back emf generated so and as soon as the back emf is generated the relay tries to give power to the main winding this is very bad to the motor and it may destroy the contacts of the relay so how do we avoid this problem we install a secondary relay so what happens here is that it momentarily disconnects the main power and allows the motor to stabilize itself before providing power again so let's see in an example here at the moment the main power is relayed to relay number two here through its normally closed point and through relay number one here through its normally open point to the secondary wind. So now the gate is currently opening. So halfway through the user decides again I want to close the gate. So what the RU does is that it sends a signal to this relay so that it disconnects the power as the normally open point of this relay is connected to nothing. So therefore energy is allowed to stabilize here because energy is not transferred instantly from the secondary winding to the main winding and after a 5 second delay the Arduino turns off this relay so that now power is redirected to the main winding but still power is not connected but the redirection has already been done and after another 5 seconds the Arduino disconnects this relay and allows power to flow through its normally closed point to the main winding. Okay, so let's see how we can enable the user to open and close the gate remotely. So for this purpose I'm using a 433 MHz transmitter remote and a complementary 433 MHz receiver. So in order to connect the 433 MHz receiver, the VCC pin should be connected to 5 volts from the Arduino and the corner mouse pin which is the ground should be connected to the common ground and any one of these two pins should be connected to interrupt 0 of the Arduino Uno which is digital pin number 2. So this point here is to attach an external antenna so that this receiver can pick up a transmitter at a longer range. Okay, the receiver is connected up and the signal pin is connected to the dig digital pin 2 of the Arduino and when we give the signal from the transmitter the receiver should be able to pick this signal up and determine whether it's the correct signal that we are looking for. So if we press this button right here, button B, it should accept this button and turn this relay off. So at the moment this relay is on and power is redirected through the normally open point to this LED. So when we press the button of the transmitter, it should redirect power through the normally closed point to this LED light right here. 
so let's see this in action when we press this the receiver picks the signal up and changes and turns this relay off this is also shown in the serial monitor when we press this key again so if we press this button again It's the serial model shows this that it picked up this signal and it also changed the state of the relay so if we press another button right here which is the A button it picks up a different signal so the system is told not to be responsive to any other signal except for one particular type of signal that we are looking for so whenever the Arduino receives the correct signal from the receiver it controls the relays accordingly to reroute power the torque of the motor is transferred through this gear onto the gate through this rail right here so when the motor spins it turns the gear and allows the motor to open or close the gate like this so how do we stop the gate when it comes to its end so these are some indicators which allow us to stop the gate properly these are at either sides of the gate these stoppers are at either side of the gate so that it pushes on the limit switch to cut off the mains supply so what happens here is that whenever the gate goes to its lead, goes to its end it pushes on this lever like this and it activates a limit switch inside 